Hello and welcome to the 13th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series and in this part we're going to be looking at setting the sprites texture rec size. We'll be using the source code from the 12th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. Okay, we will be looking at setting the sprite texture rec manually. By default, if no values are specified, the sprite is the same size as the texture size. For the most part, that'll probably be fine. Um, but obviously, it's best to be aware of the different features so you can utilize them when need be. First of all, obviously, we've got to open up our project. That's the first thing we've got to do. We can't do much without that. Okay, first, let's set the uh, sprite texture to be smaller than the texture itself. But even before we do that, I'm going to show you how it looks. This is what it looks like at the moment. We've got the sprite. And to set the texture rect size, we're going to do sprite dot set texture rect, and this takes a ff interrect parameter. Interrect. There we go. And here we just specify we can use any one of these. I'm going to use a second one. So basically, for the texture, we specify where we want it to start, aka the top left of the starting rectangle within the texture and then the bottom right and I'm going to put 0 0 160 30 basically what we want to do is start in the top left of the texture and let's just open up the texture so we can visualize it a little better yes yeah, go away windows uh, so we want to start here this is the top left 0 0 and we want to go 160 across which I believe around about here and then we want to go off and go 30 down and so it's going to have roughly around about that much visible but let's just actually show you what it looks like when we run it and there we go we have 160 30 of the actual original texture now we will, we will set the texture to be bigger than the actual original texture so we're going to do 640 which is aka the actually the screen width is 600 so I'm going to put 600 Go 600, and you'll see something interesting happen. And it has basically filled it up with orange. And the reason it's done that is in a particular axis. So let's say this point here. When you when it goes down, it gets the last color or the last pixel, and it just uses that. And as you can see, it's empty on the top here because the last pixel here was just alpha hence why drew why it looks like he hasn't drawn anything here even though it has done the same effect as it has all the way over here but there's a cool feature within sfml uh, which allows us to enable text to repeat so the texture just repeats itself if the sprite texture rect is bigger than the original texture size so we're going to do texture so we just do this for the texture not the sprite dot set repeated and i'm going to put true Rerun this, and as you can see, we have the texture repeated throughout. So, this is pretty cool if you have some sort of background. Maybe you've got some sort of grass background, and you generally don't want a huge image as that takes up more memory and you can just repeat it. So, that is it for setting the sprite texture rec size. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at the We'll be looking at setting the sprites color. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.